Kenny, we're looking ahead to the Glasgow City game at, at the end of January. How big a game is this for the squad at this stage of the season? I think it's very important, especially for the confidence, for the team and for the supporters. The last game against them, we didn't take the points. It was just like an uh, unlucky result, I would say. So we're just going to bring everything to the game and hope that we can actually like celebrate a good game and a good win. Yeah, and you touched on that last game back in November. It was your first experience of a game against Glasgow City. What did you make of that game and the challenge that day? I think it was a, it was different than the previous games, obviously. I was expecting a good game. It was an uh, unlucky result, but I think now when we have already played once against them, we have the courage and the, and the feeling of how, how they're going to play and how they're going to attack the game with us. So we're going to be even more like comfortable. Yeah, and it obviously is such a, a competitive fixture as well. What, what key qualities do Rangers need to show in a, a game like that? I mean, we just need to stick to our own game and not to get frustrated, keep, keep composed, uh, score when we have the chance and just like finish with the quality that we have in the, in the team and yeah, support one another. Yeah, and it's back at Broadwood for this one. The, the squad are on a good run at Broadwood. How important is it to take momentum from that and, and try and keep that going? I think it's always hard for the other teams to come to our home pitch. We have a big field, we like to run, so if we just keep the ball moving, then they won't last. And we saw a, a really good crowd there for the Celtic game as well a few months ago. How, how great would it be to, to see similar again at this game? Oh, that would be that would be amazing. The, the support that we get is, is all just a big, big plus. So we need all the support that we can just get. And it is now around six months you've been at the club. How have you found this initial period? It's been amazing. I think uh, the girls and the team and the staff and all the facilities that we have here, they give me an opportunity to get better. Obviously there's been like little injuries here and there, but it haven't like slowed me down at all. So I feel good, I feel confident with the team, but I feel like I'm sucking more and more information in every single game when I get to play and especially get to know the girls, how they want to play and how they individually play. So I have more more to give. And you obviously experienced the Champions League very early when you were here as well. What was that like for you? Uh, I think it was good that it was that early. So I just got thrown in there. Uh, it felt amazing. It was, a, it was a great experience to have and an amazing opportunity also as, a, as it was as a good challenge for the team. And uh, it kind of like gave us a way how this season is going to go and we know that we can compete against good teams and uh, also abroad so that is great but I feel like now we need to just take wins every single game but game at a time so the focus is here. Yeah and how much for you as well do, do you feel that being in this environment can, can help complement you at international level and, and help you push on there too? I think it's, I think it's a it's a, like a good combination, like if we practice hard here, then it's going to obviously help me with the national team and stuff. And the experience that I'm getting and sucking in from the players who has been abroad and who is still playing domestic only. It's, there is like a good balance between like what I learned from the national team and bring here and vice versa. So I think I have like a good balance right now. Yeah, and the squad obviously lifted the Sky Sports Cup at the end of, of last year. You took a, a knock in that final, but what <laughs> was that like for you? Uh, it was tough. I think I was more sad about not seeing the game, even though obviously I could not continue. But me not even being able to sit in the stands and watch the team to play and win and like l actually lift the trophy, I was a little out of out of myself in that moment. But. I mean, it was great. I saw the goals in the locker room, so that was something. And I mean, that's all we wanted and we gave everything. So I'm also happy that uh, me being subbed out that early, that Sam was ready to jump in because it was obviously nobody was expecting that. So I, I give credit to her because she probably didn't expect to be subbed in that early. So it was great. Yeah, and how much do you hope that that feeling of winning can help push the squad on in, in the remaining months of this season? I mean, I hope that we can still like reminisce those moments when we have had a good game or won trophies and things like that, especially when there is like struggles. We just need to be on the same page and actually like push one another in a positive way and not like start to be negative. So that's just the only way to go.